Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Bye, thanks. Hello, Hello. teacher. Did Hi, you me. have a good weekend? Good, very good. Oh, awesome. What about your Monday? <laughs> How has been your Monday? Mm. Hi. I am, I am. Easy, difficult. Good evening. With a lot of things to do. So, so. So, so. Okay. Well, let's uh, start. Um, I sent the presentation today. We're going to start the section number three, where we are going to be uh, practicing on how to give directions. And also we're going to practice vocabulary about places and things. Let's start with the video. Um, by the way, thank you for being on time. I see that few people is in. Remember, um, creo que con los que están conectados no sería problema, verdad? Pero sí, recuerden que eh, nosotros no podemos dar permiso ni decir sí o no está bien y al final sí les afecta que no se conecten, verdad? Tenerlo en cuenta nada más. Y pues vamos a empezar. Let's see. Uh, okay, I think I'm sharing screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So yes. we're going to watch the video, listen the vocabulary, and after that, we're going to practice. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so we saw some vocabulary about some places and the things that you can get in those places. Uh, let's see, which other places can you mention? Mm -hmm. The post office. Okay, the post office. Thank you. A gas station. Gas station. Okay. What else? Drug store. A bookstore. Okay. A department store. Department store. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bank. A bank, mm -hmm. a supermarket, a supermarket, mm -hmm. a coffee shop, a coffee shop, okay, restaurant, oh, a restaurant, uh huh, uh, bookstore. A drugstore. A drugstore. Uh huh. Uh, how do you store? say? How do you say drugstore in Spanish? So a drugstore is the same as a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. 
es, yes, it's the same. Es como es una farmacia. So puedes decir a uh, drugstore o puedes decir farmacia es lo mismo. Ah, uh, okay. A pharmacy, pero. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, a drugstore uh -huh. is same oh. as pharmacy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank you. Okay, we also have a parking lot. It's in the chat. Parking lot. Uh, florist. Hair, hair salon. Ah, a hair salon. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, butcher shop. I read it in the chat. <clears throat> butcher shop. Any idea? Carnicería. That's the bad church shop. Carnicería. Any other places? Oh, so we have a police station, airport. I think it's, uh, it's enough for vocabulary. So let me share the screen. Um, I sent the presentation. This is what you already um, listen and watch the video in the platform. And those are the places that we have here. Uh, post office, a drugstore, a gas station, a department store, a bank, a bookstore, a coffee shop, and a supermarket. And things that you can get in those places. Uh, and the exercise that was done, este el ejercicio que se hizo ahí, Eh, decíamos, you can get an aspirin in a drugstore. You can get bread. Where, where can we get bread? In a supermarket. In a, bakery. In a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Very good. Where can I get a dictionary? In a, book. in a bookstore. In a bookstore. Okay. Where can I get gasoline? In a gas station. Okay, where can I get a sandwich? In a restaurant. In a coffee shop. In a coffee shop, uh-huh. Where can I get stamps? In, in a, a post, post office. office. Okay, in a post office. Where can I get a suit? In a department store. Yes, in a department store. Where can I get a traveler's check? In a bank. In a bank. Okay, good. Let's think in what else can you get in those places? ¿Qué más se puede obtener en esos lugares? Um, Tenemos un ejemplo aquí. You can get a magazine at the bookstore. Es lo que está aquí abajo. And you can send a package at the post office. Mm -hmm. What other things can we do or buy or get in those places? Uh -huh. You can receive money in a bank. Yes, you can withdraw money in a bank. Okay. Okay, withdraw. Eso es retirar. También, yes, we can withdraw money in a bank. Okay, what else can we get or do in those places? You can send a card in a post office. Yes, you can send a, a postcard or a card in a post office. Uh huh. What else can we do or get in a gas station? Oh. 
So don't, don't, don't you can buy gas in a gas station and diesel. Oh, okay. Yes, they have different kinds of fuel, but uh, what else can we do or get in a gas station? ¿Qué más se puede obtener o hacer en una gasolinera? Ideas? Eat. Eat. Yes, you can eat a sandwich, a subway probably, and a gas station. Mm -hmm. eh, este, ¿cómo se llaman esas cosas? Eh, chuchería, ¿cómo se le llama? Snacks. <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> yeah. Snacks. También uh -huh. se puede, este, retirar dinero en los cajeros. Yes, in the ATM. In ATM. Yeah, you can get money from the ATM in a gas station. Uh-huh. Okay, there is a question here in the chat. What is the difference between library and bookstore? It's like, like library is the place where you go and you can borrow books. You read the books or you study there and then you, you get the book back, okay? And a bookstore is a place where you go and buy books. Is that clear? Am I clear with this? Yes. yes okay, teacher. awesome. Nice. You're welcome. Uh, okay, I think we are set with this exercise. So uh, the next thing that we have in the platform is the, the pronunciation of compound nouns. Let us watch the video, pay attention, and then we're going to practice these compound nouns. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, 
share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, I think that topic is quite simple. It's the grammar explanation about what are compound nouns. As you listen there, it's two nouns that together makes a different noun. So, and it's usually they are stressed. Cuando decimos stress, significa que hay una fuerza de voz. Usualmente los compound nouns, esa fuerza de voz la llevan el primer noun. De los dos que lleva la palabra, el estrés usualmente está en la primera. Entonces, veamos acá. El ejercicio de pronunciación es lo mismo que tienen ahí en la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Aquí están los compound nouns con lo que vamos a practicar pronunciación. Si se fijan, aquí hay una bolita en el primer nombre, que es donde está, eh, indica dónde está el estrés. Post office, gas station, restaurant, coffee shop, drugstore, bookstore, supermarket, department store. So, vamos a escuchar el audio dos veces y ustedes pueden repetir en casa. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket, department store. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, bookstore, supermarket, department store. Okay, and is there any question before we continue? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta antes de continuar? No, no questions. No, no teacher. Ok, no, so teacher. estamos en la parte fácil, entonces vamos a seguir avanzando. Ya nos vamos a detener un poquito más en lo que requiera un poquito más de práctica. Espero que estén haciendo sus ejercicios en la plataforma. Por ahí me escribieron un par de personas el viernes, sábado y domingo. And that's okay, porque veo que están practicando y haciendo sus ejercicios. Um, ok, este es el que acabamos de ver, compound noun. Si ven, ya vamos por la mitad. So, it's preposition of place. So, I know this kind of... Um, Difficult sometimes, algunas veces un poquito difícil incluso dar direcciones en español, pero realmente no es tan complicado, pero vamos a tratar de practicarlo tanto como se pueda. Y cualquier duda, pregunta o si quieren más ejercicios del tema me pueden decir porque vamos bien con los temas y con el tiempo. Vamos a escuchar entonces. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, 
There's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so it's hay algo por ahí de contenido, verdad? Pero vamos a ir en partes. Y vamos a empezar con la conversación. So let me see. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the same conversation that you have in the platform. Es la misma conversación que está en la plataforma. Los dibujitos cambian, pero el vocabulario es el mismo. Y esta es la que les puse en el PowerPoint. Vamos a escuchar y voy a ir 
pausando para que ustedes repitan en casa. Acuérdense siempre tratar con la entonación, ¿verdad? Para que no sea como que estamos leyendo, sino que es que suene natural, como una conversación en sí. Vamos a darles chance de que repitan. Así es que por eso lo voy a ir pausando para que primero escuchen tranquilitos y luego repitan. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now. It's an emergency. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom, now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, um, do you have any questions about the conversation? No questions? No. Okay, thank you for confirming that. So I'm going to create the breakup room so that you can practice this conversation with your classmates and remember to practice as many times as you can with different classmates. Let's create a room. Okay, there you go.
Okay, we're back again. Do we have volunteers to practice the conversation? Here in the main section, you can Hi, raise your hand. Presente. Presente. Yes, Maximo. <laughs> okay, are you here, Luis? Escuché a Luis y escuché a Máximo. Vamos con... Hi, Máximo. Hola, Luis. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Luis. Let's see. Uh, tengo una manita por aquí, Rosario. Vamos a empezar con Rosario y Luis. Ok. Now. Empie Empiece hey, usted, Luis. That's ok. Ok, ok. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I am sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son is a restaurant. Now it's an emergency. Oh, there were, there's a restaurant in the department store on my street. Where on my street? It's on the corner of Main and Fritz Avenue. On the corner of Main and Fritz? Yes, it's a from the park. You can't miss it. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Luis. Rosario, congratulations. You did a very, Thanks, very Lucia. nice job with pronunciation. Ha mejorado un montón, Rosario. La felicito. De Thanks. Está practicando. <laughs> Lo hizo muy bien, Rosario. Y Thanks, gracias, teacher. Luis, también. Muy buen trabajo. Solamente escuché dos Thanks. palabritas. Main. Main. Main, la pronunciación Main. y la otra es first. 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 Mm -hmm. first. You can't, you can't miss it. Uh, it's first. Well done, first. excellent. Let's give it Thanks, to Maximo. Teacher, teacher, una pregunta. Ese uh -huh. donde ese can't miss it, es de un solo can't miss it. You can't miss it. Ajá, uh -huh. se une uh, el miss okay. y el it. Se use. Okay. You can't miss it. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Let's listen to Maximo. Do we have a volunteer to practice with Maximo? Go, Maximo. Voy. Alejandro. Voy, Jay. Con Alejandro. Okay. okay. Ahí teníamos a Nancy, pero igual, este, no sé cómo quieren hacerlo. <laughs> with Nancy. Okay. Uh, Maximo <laughs> and Nancy. Para que se acabó. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Y seguimos luego con Alejandro y alguna lady por ahí ya lista para practicar con Alejandro luego. Yo con our, Alejandro. Al bad, Maximo. Al bad. Ok, let's do it. Ok. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restaurant now. It's an emergency. Oh, there. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner on Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, excellent, a very good job. I just heard two words. Let's see, this one is around. It's the around, it's out, around. Uh -huh. A public restaurant around here, around. And the other one, let's see. Ay, Dios, que cabeza. Dios mío. Teacher. Uh -huh. Around, around, around. Significa alrededor, ¿verdad? Alrededor, ajá, o aquí en los alrededores. Around here, alrededor de acá. Uh -huh. Around. Ok. En la otra. Ay, se me olvidó. Voy a traer mi cuadro. No voy a anotar. A ver si eran dos. <risa> <risa> ya me lo van a recordar, hola. Sí, uh... sí, no, no, sí, solo me acuerdo de around. A ver si eran dos. Ah, dear, esta. Oh, dear, dear. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Vamos a ver, teníamos Alejandro y veamos, ¿quién practicaría con Alejandro? With me, teacher. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Sara Alejandro. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh dear, well, there is a restroom in the department store in, on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, awesome, fantastic. I just heard once, eh, solo una vez escuché que se pronunció esta. Acuérdense, es first. No es I, it's first. Casi que no tanto I, first. Mm -hmm. And then, excellent. Uh, no quiero dejar a nadie. Si hay alguien más que quiera practicar, tenemos chance. Vamos súper bien con los contenidos. Volunteers? Si no, pues seguimos. Ahí está Emperatriz López, dicho. Ah, Emperatriz. Ok, a volunteer to practice with Emperatriz. Voy con ella. Ok, perfect. <laughs> ok. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh, there? When there's a restaurant in the department store on my street. Where on my street? It's on the corner of my and First Avenue. On the corner on Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, awesome. Very well done. I just heard two words. It's la primera, acuérdense, is dear. Dear. Oh, oh dear. Uh -huh. well. Oh dear. Oh, well, well, in Main. Main. Main Street. Ajá, esta zona como ella. Main. Main Street. Main Street. Mm -hmm. Main street. And then excellent. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I think that we may continue here. Let's see. Um Right, let's continue. Then we studied the prepositions of place. That was the other thing from the video in the platform. Lo siguiente que vieron después de la conversación en el video fueron las preposiciones de lugar. Son más, pero bueno, vamos poquito a poco. Luego con el paso y las eh, se va agregando vocabulario. Vamos a empezar con esto. Esto es exactamente lo mismo que vieron en, en el video. Solo les voy a poner el audio para que ustedes puedan ir viendo y repitiendo en casa para que reforcemos más lo que es la pronunciación. Page 88, exercise 5, grammar focus. Prepositions of place. On. On the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay, veamos. Questions? Tenemos las preposiciones que vamos a estar utilizando o practicando son on. Eh, tenemos aquí marcadito con una X donde se representa on. Y la oración, the department store is on Main Street. Cuando utilizamos la preposición on, nos referimos a estar sobre. Y pues mencionamos la calle sobre la cual está el lugar del que estamos hablando. 
Eh, on the corner of, tenemos marcado acá, nos indica que esto en la esquina de. Y tenemos un ejemplo utilizando la palabra on the corner of. It's on the corner of Main and Third. Me indica las calles que abarca la esquina, ¿verdad? Me dice que está sobre en la esquina de la principal eh, y la primera. Okay, of Main and First. Uh, then we have a cross from, y el ejemplo, it's a cross from the park. Okay, me está indicando que está al cruzarse o al otro lado del parque. Luego en la next to, tenemos el ejemplo acá, it's next to the bank. Me está diciendo que el lugar al cual eh, necesitamos llegar está al lado de contigua o a la par de next to um, the bank. Entonces, esto sería. Luego, between. Cuando utilizamos la preposición between, tenemos que mencionar los, los lugares que están a cada uno de los lados, ¿verdad? El between es como decir en medio de o entre. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Me indica los lugares que hay a cada lado. So, entonces, estaría el banco es el que está en medio de. Luego, en medio de qué? De la department store y del restaurant. That's when we use between. ¿Y preguntas con este ejercicio? ¿Con esto de la grammar? ¿No? Ok, y tenemos un ejercicio. Eh, bueno, básicamente son dos. Creo que al menos el primero tal vez lo alcanzamos a hacer que este es ver este mapa y completar las oraciones utilizando la preposición que corresponda, ¿verdad? La que, eh, por ejemplo, la primera está ya hecha. The coffee shop is, y acá tenemos que buscar la coffee shop. Acá está, la Al's Coffee Shop. On Second Avenue. Ajá, me está diciendo que está sobre la segunda avenida, On Second Avenue. Y dice, it's the shoe store. Aquí está la shoe store, la coffee shop. ¿Qué podría hacer? ¿Qué me falta acá? Next to. Next to. That could complete the sentence. Esa podría completar la oración. It's next to the shoe store. So tienen que buscar el lugar en el mapa y ver qué preposiciones son las que faltan para completar la oración. Lo vamos a hacer en grupo. Y pues el material lo tiene en la presentación que mandé. Veamos. Oh, se trabó otra vez. Permítame un segundo que creo que mi internet está fallando. No moví mouse. Give me one sec. There we go. Okay, John is ready.
Did you finish the exercise? No, no, you didn't. Okay, unfortunately, it's time to stop the meeting here. So we're going to continue with this topic tomorrow. I will allow you some more time so you can finish them and we're going to check your answers tomorrow. So thank okay. you so much for joining. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good